Hello, hello, YouTube. Questful151 back at it again. Hope you're all having a lovely, lovely Thursday. Um, I'm recording this during the heat wave of the Bay Area on Sunday, August 16th. Because yesterday, I bought a lot of Pokemon cards, and I want to organize it as soon as I can. So, even though this video is coming out in September, I still wanted to record it show you what I bought, and then I'll get to organizing all of it, because there's so much, so much to organize, so uh, let's just get started, shall we? I mean, I already know that I probably baited you in with the uh, thumbnail video and some clickbaity title, but there's a lot, and if, here, I'm just going to show you. I got this binder right here. It's not full, it's just a binder, but there's cards in here that I really want to show off, but you have to stay around to the end, because we have not one... But two boxes of cards to get through. And there's so much to get through. So let's just go into it. This first one. Ooh, all right, man. Yo, all this. So I've, uh, so I was on Facebook and I saw this guy. He had an entire collection up for sale. Made him an offer. We met up. Took a look at his, I took a look at his cards. Liked what I saw. And took it off his hands because the dude was you know he started he was like oh, i'm moving i want to get rid of all my cards so here let me just go through what we got we got a venomoth victory bell i mean here he took out all the hollows so he said he took out all the hollows but he had so many cards left over he collected everything look look we got some expedition in here or not expedition this, this isn't base set expedition but this is from the e series um which is probably the last series that he ever collected um we got plenty of base set right Erica's gloom we got some fossil in here so he collected wizards of the coast base at two jungle look at all this i mean yeah like okay we got some neogenesis in here all right neo what is that um revelation is what it is right shadowless right we've got plenty so many cards we got a celebi from neo uh revelation right Genesis we got so much to go through uh, if I if I miss something because I'm just like going through the bulk So that I can show you all the good stuff that I know is good later. I want to show you all of it So we're gonna run it through we haven't had a collection this big to show off since um since Dan Right so many cards to go through like I literally bought this guy's entire collection He's like I don't want any more. I want to get rid of it. We're downsizing. We're moving so I want to get rid of everything or you know, get rid of stuff that I'm not using anymore. And I'm like, hmm, if you want to, if you want to get rid of it, I'll take it off your hands. So yeah, this guy collected so much. We got another shadow list right here. Base at two, base at two. We got some plenty of Neo, right? Shadow list Beedrill. Cool. And so like I was, I was thumbing through because I've actually already gone through all of this already. Um, just take a quick look when I got it back to the house. Um, I sort of like thumb through it really quickly, but not like too in depth. Like I didn't scan through every single card, but we have Gym Challenge, and this is Rockets, Team Rocket. We have so many sets in here from the Wizards of the Coast era, um, specifically base to Neo, with some from the E series, but not a lot. But I think I'm going to use this guy, uh, Bulbasaur Collected. This is yours right here. This uh, Shadowless Bulbasaur right here is yours. It's got your name on it. Um, but uh i think i'm just going to use these cards right here that he has because a lot of them are pretty fairly decent condition um he did play through some of these but uh they're not terrible right the back has definitely whitening they're not near mint for sure but they're like light played to moderately played so we got the uh, first edition neo discovery revelation 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 right oh man Sorry, heat wave in Bay Area right now. It is still warm, even though it's at night when I'm recording this. Quagsire, right? Okay, focus on that. Sorry. I'm running through these really quickly because there's so many bolt cards to get through. Lapras. Shadowless Poliwag or Poliworld. E series. So much Neo. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this guy's cards and get started on that collection that I was. Uh... Suicune. Shadowless Magikarp, Dark Gyarados. Yeah, um, I was planning on starting to try to collect the Neo series eventually anyways, 
But since I have so many cards here, um, both in the holographic and non holographic, I'll show you the holographic ones later. Um, but there's so many cards to like run through, right? I think uh, the rare ones he said he sleeved, but I don't think he sleeved up all the rare ones. Uh, Misty's Cloister, non holographic. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna run through these really quick because last time we did Dan's collection, and this one's a little bit bigger. So, we got some Toto L. Neo here. Yeah, we thumbed through Dan's collection. That took like a whole like 40 minutes, and I'm so sorry. I don't want to record for too long again because I want to like get you guys to uh, the good stuff, hopefully. Okay, what do we got? We got Jolteon, Electrode, Electrode, Raichu. These are, these are base set, base set. Yes. Lots of Voltorbs right here. Magneton. Oh my god, wow, I'm sweating. It is warm in here. Ooh, Shadowless Pikachu. Played condition, but Shadowless nonetheless. Got some more Neo Genesis Revelation. Light Kid. Wow. So many cards. That like I'm just like, how do I how do I get through all of this? Like I like that. Alright, we're gonna come back to this. First edition about Dark Magneton. I do I, I do actually need Dark Magneton for uh for my rocket. Okay, so we got through all the lightning Pokemon. I will come back to that card because I want to show you that card specifically. Some of you might be able to guess what, what's so special about that card, but thumb through all the fires. Okay. Commons and uncommons, got a Cyndaquil there. Cyndaquil is probably that's first edition. Holava. Uh that was my starter. Got a Magby rare. Cyndaquil is my starter back in the day with uh, gold and silver. So, this right here, if you saw it really quickly, is an electrode. Now, I'm going to give you a second to think about it and look at it. Pause the video if you need to. But tell me what's weird about this electrode. Okay. Give up. It's not the first edition stamp. It's the picture and the set. The set is jungle, but the jungle electrode set, the artwork for it looks like this. So why does that artwork look different for the one on the left? Because that is the artwork for the base set electrode. See that? This is an error electrode from, and it only happens in the first edition jungle set. Only the first edition jungle set has this error electrode. And I think that's a pretty neat card to uh, to have. That's a, that's a pretty cool card right there. First, first edition error jungle electrode. I think that's pretty cool to have. I like it. Okay. All right, let's put this one back in here. Got some more cards to thumb through. Hey, Espeon! Espeon from Neo Discovery. Got a bunch of unknowns. Uh, Starmie. Starmie. Ooh, Dark Hypno. Do I need that one? I don't need that one. Yeah, so many cards that I can add to my collection. So many cards that I can use. I do need the non-holographic Hypno, actually, for the fossil set that I have. Um, I think there's there are so many cards in here that are just Dark Cadabra I need for the rocket set. There are so many cards in here that I'm going to just use to add to flesh out what I'm missing from my binder. Um, because I'm going to be completing and filling out so much more. I might do a binder update. Um, see, this video should be coming out on a Thursday if I schedule it out correctly. Uh, this video will be coming out on a Thursday. Some more bulk, some more unknowns. Boom, 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 boom. Not too. Promo card muse. Cool. Okay. This video should be coming out on a Thursday. Oh my god, we're 10 minutes in already? I've spent 10 minutes looking at bulk. I'm so sorry. Okay. Run through, run through. Okay. Duck Trio, Shuckle. Okay, let's just run through these real quick. Anything noticeable? If you stop and you see something that I missed or see something that I should have stopped and given more information on, let me know. Dr. Drio, I need that for the binder, actually. Alright, I really hope this doesn't turn into another 40-minute video, but it starts to look like it might. So many things. Kabutops. Yeah. So much bulk. But I'm going to definitely use these to flesh out and start my Neo Genesis or Neo Era 
uh, set binders. Um, let's see, this one's all colorless Pokemon. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Work with me here. There we go. Okay. Pidgey, Pidgey, Dark Dragonair, Little Tank, Dark Dragonite. Hey, Dark Dragonite. Yo, my guy. <sighs> Dark Dragonite, regular Dragonite. Yeah, I'm going to use these to flesh out my collection. Got some Snorlax in there. My Pokemon right there. That's my boy, Snorlax. Teddy Ursus, Snubbles, Granbulls. Okay. Uh, bulk, 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 bulk. Dark Radicate, Eevees. Yeah, so many, uh, yeah, plenty of collections that I'm going to start and assemble and add to with these cards, even though I'm do missing, I'm, I'm missing a fair amount of holographics, but I do, I did eventually want to get into collecting the gym series, both challenge and heroes, as well as all the neos. And I think with this guy's collection, I'm going to be able to start doing that. I got Sneasel, Houndoom, Houndoom. This is the first edition Umbreon from Neo Discovery, Houndour, Sneasel, Murkrow, Murkrow. Okay. So, that is it for this first binder right here. Put that away. Ooh, really quickly, I will show you some uh, something cool that I picked up off of him. So originally, um, I'll explain later, but I did also get to uh, pick up off of him. This is the Southern Islands promo set. It actually starts here with Mew Pidgeot. Southern Islands um promotional set so all of these are promo cards and they came in um like some sort of folder thingy so obviously he took them out of the folder but he still retained all of the cards and i think this is a pretty cool like subset like promotional set to collect and i really wanted this so i'm glad i was able to take this off of sands too okay pokemon box number two so um like our friend dan his second box is actually full of decks so he did use to play uh, I'm gonna cut through so all these cards right here actually these cards are all fake cards he said he bought them in Chinatown just for like for funsies so I'm not gonna go through these but I think everything after here should be oh these are trainers so let's go through these really quick these are kind of warped so uh, gyms stadiums boom bulk 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 right just bolt trainers um, but yeah, so he did used to play, so he has actually a fair amount of decks in here set up already. So we're going to go through these really quickly. Um, wow, I am at 14 minutes already. I'm so sorry, but I guess this is going to turn into another 40 minute video. Sorry to you all in advance. I really am. I didn't, I, I was like, oh, I should make this one shorter and run through the cards. But then I think, I guess Bolt just take, takes forever to get through and I'm sorry. And I've said that like 50 bajillion times now. Um, but let's just get through this. So, I don't know if I want to organize his decks um, at all or reorganize or keep it like that. But so, this is, I guess, a leaf deck Chikorita, Bay Leaf, Grass Cube, Bill, Scyther, haha, -ha. Skip Bloom, Scyther again. So, he did have some uh, E Series cards, Bay Leaf. So, this was his uh, Grass deck. Venomoth. Okay. So I think, I don't know if he had one in each color um, as I was going through it, but it sort of seemed like he, not sure if he did, did. He probably didn't have a um, colorless deck, but he did have the green. And now we have a red. Right. We got Charizard. No, not Charizard. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm, look, I th I'm thinking of it's the uh, final evolution there, but I got Charmander, Dr. Vermillion, Charmander, Ho-Oh. Hey. Yeah, I might have to take a lot of these cards out. Professor Elm. Um, if I'm going to make it into a... That's fake, I think. Yeah, these are fake. Flareon, Charmeleon, Magmar, Shadowless, Entei. Um, Houndoom's fake, I think. Yeah, anything that's past the Expedition series um, is fake, I believe. Because uh, some of those cards were like, they, if you saw, they had the, 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 next to its name, 
So if it has the level next to it, that comes from the uh, Diamond and Pearl era. And so the Diamond and Pearl era is way later than Expedition, and those cards are fake. Expedition was the last set that he uh, collected, it seems like. See, that one's fake. So I guess he just used these just to play um, for fun. So like a sort of like a proxy card, I guess. But I guess this is a Thunder deck. We got a Jolteon, non-holographic. Oh, it's okay. Uh, Raichu again, holographic from Neo Revelation. Okay, so that was a green, red, and yellow deck. Um, we got some more cards to go through here. Another green deck, Dark Bile Bloom. Nice, Ariados, Tangela, Dark Gloom. This is more. Of a, this is a poisony deck, Dark Muck. Yeah, this one seems like it's uh, more suited towards the poison type. That's pretty cool. Dark Weezing. Spin a rack. Oh, we got Psychics now. Boom. Sabrina's Abra. Ghastly. Sabrina's Kadabra. We're not seeing a whole lot of uh, holographics and rares, I guess. He's, he, you know, he seems like you would need some for these decks. I wonder, they, I wonder where they could be. You got a Mr. Mime here. Oh, we're coming up on blue. Okay. I think this one is the final deck in here. And the rest of them should all be just energy cards. Yes, so the rest of those are all energies. And those are Dark Blastoise, not holographic. Cool. What was that? That was a Kingdra Neo Revelation. Some of the artwork on these Neo cards are very sick. Politoed. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Blue, blue. Tentacool from the E series. And that's it for this side because the rest of these cards are energy cards. Wow. Wow. That took 18 minutes to get through all the bulk cards. And that was with us skimming through them. Uh, I'm so sorry. But let's get into the good stuff, shall we? Uh, if you skipped ahead, then you already. Then welcome. I appreciate you joining us today. Um, so yeah, uh, this Ultra Pro binder is not full, it's just the binder that he had, uh, I'll show you later, because, actually no, I'll take the pages out, because they, he came in, the cards all came in Ultra Pro sleeves, like binder sleeves that, you, that are individual, but then he also did have this binder, and the binder he gave to us, but it looks a little bit used, so I guess he did use this for storage at some point. Um, I might probably pick up and put like the non-holographic rares in here, but I'll put, I'll that I, you know, collect over the years, or collect over the time. I'll probably use that, but since it lo does look a little bit used, I think I'm going to sleeve up the cards before I put them in there first, in new sleeves. But, let's get into good stuff, shall we? Because there's so much to get through still. We have Focus. Pikachu, from the Wizards of the Coast promo set, The League. We got a Clefable, holographic, from base set 2. We have a base set Magneton, uh, Pikachu, for the Wizards of the Coast promo from the movie. We have more than one. That's awesome. We got a Giovanni's Persian right here. Magnemite, first edition, holographic from Neo Revelation. Yeah, dude, I'm starting to add these to the collection. We got a Porygon 2, Electabuzz from the movie promo, RK9 promo card, Wizards of the Coast number 6. And on the back, ooh, yo, we have a Japanese Brox Rhydon. Okay, hopefully some of these cards are centered. Uh, Victory Bell, Reverse Holographic from the E Series. Giovanni's Gyarados. Entei from Neo Revelation, right there. Chansey. Hitmonchan. Um, Hitmonchan, Japanese, right? Okay. We have Dark Machamp. Holographic, cool, from the Rockets. We have a non-holographic Zapdos. And what's this? This. All right, let's pop it out. Ty Flosion T17. Bro. Eh, we'll pop out the Entei as well, actually. We should pop that out real quick. Entei. From Neo Revelation. Pop this out of the sleeve real quick. 
because sleeves are old. These are all of his original sleeves. Pretty good condition. Yo. Ente. Look, the back of it is so good. I might even grade this, actually. Okay, we got a nick right here. We got some nicks on this side. But I kind of want to create this. Even though it might come back a 9, I'm perfectly okay with that. But, Typhlosion, T17. Wow. Okay. Alright, T17. Yo, this is so good. This is so good. kind of want to grade this one too, even though it might come back as a 9. See? Dings on the bottom here. But I saw these, and I was like, yo, I gotta make this guy an offer. I have to make an offer for his collection, because he has some cards that I need that I would really enjoy taking off his hands. Alright, so we have, uh, focus. We got another Giovanni's Persian. It's our second one, yes. Vaporeon from Jungle. Cool. Magneton. One of the first Steel-type cards out there. Dark Arbok. From the rockets, we got Koga's B drill. We got Lieutenant Surge's Magneton right here. That's pretty cool. Misty's Tentacruel. So we're getting a jump start on our gym series cards here. Blaine's Arc 9 Looks pretty bad. Looks very BA, doesn't it? Woo! Giovanni's Persian is just uh, trying to drop out and join the party here. Okay. Put that down. Mmm, got some more stuff coming up. Some pretty good stuff right here. Celebi, right here from Neo Revelation. But, yo, oh, 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 what's this? It's a second Celebi. <laughs> we got a Raikou. Raikou, Raikou, don't know how you say it, but the Water Beast. Pop that one out really quick. We'll take a look at it in a little bit. Alakazam from the base set. Mistrevis, Neo Revelation, Focus, Nido King. We do need another one for our 151 binder. Dark Weezing, got a Muck. Venusaur to round out. We do need one of those. We have a reverse, oh, that's just the regular holographic Ariados from the E series right there. What's on the back? Ah, oh, we got a Hound Hour. I do have this, I have this in Japanese, but I don't have it in English actually. Holographic Hound Hour. Kangaskhan. Base set to Raichu. Nice. Got a Gyarados. Movie promo Mewtwo. Ninetales from base set two. Sabrina's Alakazam holographic. Mewtwo. Promo Mewtwo from the movie. We do have a Celebi. Nice. Does it have a swirl on it? Swirls are things that like you can kind of see on cards sometimes, and it it's, it's, it's not every uh, holographic will have it, but sometimes people are all chasing for it. Uh, some nicks on the bottom. Darn. Maybe I'll grade that one too. But we do also have a Raikou here. Yeah, see all these sleeves? These page sleeves? Um, they're, ori they're the original ones that he had. So uh, that's why I wanted to record this earlier, because I needed to um, re-sleeve his cards. Uh, Raikou right here. Raikou. Yo, pretty clean. Raikou might actually get a pretty good grade, possibly. Might grade that. If I send, the, I might send these two right here into grade. Um, be it would be cool to have a set. Uh, let's see. Of the three beasts. Sabrina's Abra, promo card. Clefairy, definitely needed that one for the binder. Blossom, first edition. Nice. Unknown A, could use that. Hey, Holographic Gengar, what's up, my guy? So I, I think he had this in his deck, because he had a, a Ghastly and a Haunter in his deck. Uh, so the Gengar, he probably took it out um, once he decided to sell. Moltres, first edition, non-holographic. We have a Meowth promo. It says GB right there, probably the Game Boy game. Metal Energy, holographic, from Neo Genesis. And the moment you've all been waiting for, because you saw these... You saw it on the cover of the thumbnail. We have an Eevee promo card right here. Dark Charizard. This is the non-holographic, but I still do need it. Charizard. From the base set. 
right here. I'm gonna pop that out, we'll get back into it. We have a first edition Scyther, cool. Right, first edition Scyther holographic, I could use that. First edition Vileplume holographic, Zapdos. And on the bottom row, the first edition Slowking from Neo Genesis. Shining Kabutops, one of the first is a three star secret rare because it's number 108 out of 105 from Neo Destiny and it's first edition as well. I'll pop that out one for a closer look. And a Shadowless Blastoise. Yep, I bought all this from the same guy. All right, let's pop out that uh, Kabutops and take a look at it. So, unfortunately, these cards are played. These cards are all part of his old collection, they are all definitely played, but that's okay. Because I don't have a Charizard. I don't actually have a base set Charizard. So this is actually my first base set Charizard. As you can see, it's definitely played. Got some scratches here and there. Some edge wear. And the back is definitely worn out a little bit. Right? Markings here and there. But base set Charizard is base set Charizard. I'm going to take that. And we also have the Shining Kabutops from Neo Destiny. It works with me from neo destiny shining kabutops wow was that not in focus i'll show you the charizard again i'm so sorry charizard focus nice see it looks clean ish it's probably more on the lightly played moderately played side uh nicks here and there but i will take it and it's a great condition card because there are definitely always some more beat up ones out of there shining kabutops the, one of the first types of Shining Pokemon. Um, Neo, the Neo series had the first types of Shining Pokemon. So first edition from Neo Destiny. The back on it is pretty clean. Got some nicks on the bottom, but I might grade this just for the sake of grading it. I might do another submission to PSA because these cards are, some of these cards are pretty clean. I would love to like encase and grade some of these cards. And so the difference with the shiny pro Shining Pokemon is that for these secret rares, only the Pokemon itself is holographic, right? Only the Pokemon itself reflects. Everything else in the background of the picture doesn't reflect like how it normally does in a regular holographic, right? So, I thought that was pretty cool. But wait, there is more. So remember how I tell you I was going through the bulk set, the bulk boxes um, in the first round um, before I showed it to you before I started recording. Unfortunately, I went through it already. So this isn't my genuine reaction because I knew what was coming. However, there's still more because these these pages were what he listed were the ones that he listed on the Craigslist. He listed these pages, um, the Southern Island promos, he listed on a separate ad. And then the Shadowless Blastoise he listed on a separate ad, but I just offered to take it all of, off take it all off his hands in one sitting. Right. I offered to take it all off his hands in one sitting, and he agreed. We figured out a price. We set on a price, and I took it all. So, but there's more because he showed pictures of the holographic pages, right? The binder pages and the boxes, but he didn't go into in depth. He just he just showed off boxes of bulk. So I went through the boxes of bulk just to see what was in there, how we how we organized it, and then how I would you know just to get an idea of how to film the video. And going through the bulk and his decks, I found more cards. That's a lot of which weren't sleeved, so I had to sleeve them up immediately. But I found a lot more cards. I found a pincer from Jungle. Okay. Remember how we had Entei in Raikou? He also had a Suicune. So we have the three legendary beasts in holographic. And it's holographic. And this one, also, same thing. Pretty decent condition. I know you might not be able to see all the details, but trust me when I say that I think all three all three of these would grade fairly well. And I want to submit all three of these into PSA so that I can have a graded set. We got a Feraligator, because remember, he did have Total Dials and Croconiles in that water deck. And he had a second Feraligator in there as well. Dragonite, movie promo. So we have a we have a second set of the movie promo from Pokemon the first movie. Kingdra, holographic. 
Erica's Vial Plume from Jim. Oh my gosh, is this? These were not focused. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Erica's Vial Plume, focus. Got a jump bluff in there. Second jump bluff. Meganium. Because we did have a green deck with the uh, Chikorita and Bayleaf in there. So we have a Meganium from Neo Genesis as well. So we have the big three because we got Typhlosion, we got Feraligator, and we got Meganium. Another first edition Heracross. Yeah, from Neo Genesis. And a ba base set to Polyrath. Yeah, we really struck a home run with this lot that we picked up. So we have two for alligators here. Remember how I mentioned that about swirls earlier? So take a look at this for alligator and see if you see anything in the holographic, right? Do you notice anything about the holographic pattern? Let me focus in there. Okay. Anything interesting about the holographic behind the pick behind the Pokemon? Nope. Okay. Cool. Now I want you to take a look at this for alligator and see if you don't notice anything about the background. Hopefully I can get it to show up. Okay. Now, look at his right arm, right above it. See right here, there's that little swirl marking. Yeah. So some of the holographics in the Neo, ser in the Neo series will have that marking. Swirls. They used to not really be too popular, and then some people saw it, and they thought, yeah, oh, this is pretty cool. And they enjoyed it, and then it became a big thing. It didn't, become a bi it didn't become a big thing, but, you know, some people like to keep an eye out for it, and they're like, oh, this has a swirl, it's a pretty cool mark. It doesn't really change the price of the card too much, but it can. It can, if people want to pay extra for a swirl, because they enjoy it, because they enjoy the collectability of it, and the aesthetic. But in any case... Wow, we uh, we we bought that lot. Um, I don't know. I, I might want to price everything out just to see how much this all could be sold for. Market price is changing all the time, but you know, I'm very very happy with this purchase. This is going to help me complete the sets that I'm already collecting, and then help me get a head start on the sets that I wanted to collect later on once I finish the you know the fun 151, the base, the jungle, and the fossil. But this is just going to help me out and set up my future collecting goals. Playset. Oh, not a playset, but I got the three Bs. I do want to grade these because I think these have a very good shot at grading well. So I'm going to grade that. Maybe I'll grade the Typhlosion as well because that one was pretty okay too. Charizard's going in the binder. I do want to grade the shot in Kabutops. So some of these guards, uh, I haven't taken a lot, all of them out of the sleeves yet. Some of them are going to go into binders. Some of them might go into another future PSA submission. But in any case, I will update you all because I want to get a head start on organizing these cards. But wait, there's more. Yo, in between the time that I recorded the everything that you just saw and the day that this is getting posted, I oh, <laughs> I may have uh, dipped into my wallet a little bit more and uh, fished out some more money and bought some more cards because, haha, <laughs> let's go through these really quick. I'll try not to take too much of your time, but uh, there is a lot. So, um, I did meet up with three other sellers um, the past few in the past few days. Um, yeah, okay, so we've got a Entei, uh, promo card, got an Alakazam, oh man, yo, I've got so many cards that I just picked up to help flesh out the collection, I got a first edition Fossil Magneton, holographic, first edition Dark Charmeleon, there's the non-holographic, Secret Rare, Dark Raichu, from Team Rocket, most of these cards are in, like, the light played condition, I got a Dark Alakazam from Team Rocket, holographic, Pidgeot from Base Set 2, Lieutenant Surge's Raichu, right? Moltres, I still needed one for the for the binder collection actually. A Scizor from Neo Discovery, Ursaring, Neo Discovery, Venomoth from Jungle, definitely need one of those. I got a Steelix from Neo Genesis. These are all from the same individual seller. Zapdos base set two. Gyarados base set two. These are all again. These are all from the 
from the same seller. Uh, had a, he had a collection that he was just trying to get rid of. He wasn't doing anything with it. First edition, Ampharos from Neo Genesis. Nido Queen from Jungle. I needed that one. Tyranitar, non-holographic. As well as a Dark Ampharos from Neo Destiny, which is the only set from the Neo series that has dark and light Pokemon in the same uh, set. Unfortunately, this one's a little bit creased, if you can see that. See that? It's a little bit creased. Um, but it's it's just a binder card. It's going to go into the binder. Oh, man. I really am excited to do a binder update for you all this weekend because <laughs> we're going to be going through three binders now at this point. And from a Chinatown seller, we have some more cards to add to the collection. We got a Azumarill from Neo Genesis. Wigglytuff, base set two. Wigglytuff, base set... Or, Oh, oh, I just realized this Wigglytuff is an error holographic Wigglytuff. There's no jungle symbol. This is supposed to be in the jungle set, not even the base set. Woo, oops. Dark Golbat, Rocket, Team Rocket. We got a Skarmory from Neo Genesis. Nice. Scyther, Jungle, Clefairy, base set. Hitmonlee, Fossil, I need another one for the collection. Lieutenant Surge's Furo, Blaine. And a Polyrath from base set. Now that I'm uh, adding base set two to the to the list of things to collect, um, I have to take some of the uh, base set one. I have to take some of the cards that are in the uh, 151 out because those are base set two cards. I'm trans it's basically transferring collections. Dark Blastoise. These are all in like some plastic. I just haven't taken them out yet. I got a Dark Blastoise from the Legendary collection. Hopefully you can see that. Tyranitar EX. Two Tyranitar EXs, actually. These are for you, Chin Pokemon. I got a reverse holographic Latias from the Delta Species era. I believe that's Holland Phantoms. Rayquaza reverse holographic. Nice. Uh, this seller I've actually bought from before. Um, I bought a Sylveon and a bunch of other cards, some Japanese cards off of him. It was really cool. I like him. He recognized me too. I got a reverse Dark Ariados from Team Rocket Returns. Another set that we're collecting. Got a holographic Dark Hypno. Sorry for the glare. Uh, let's see. You can see the camera there. Okay, so Clefable from Jungle. Dark Typhlosion, Neo Destiny. Nice. Nice. Dark Dawn Fan, Neo Destiny, Holographic. Dark Ampharos, Rocket Returns. Light of Zumaril. Dark Machamp. And some more. We got a Dark Steelix. Dark Golduck. Dark Espeon, which is one of the reasons why I picked up this lot, is because they had a Dark Espeon. Dark Espeon's like a fairly expensive card. Dark Charizard. Also, the main reason, this is a holographic Dark Charizard, main reason why I bought this lot. Because uh, I'm getting to the point where my collection and the sets are almost complete, that I'm starting to chase after the bigger, more expensive ones, instead of like prioritizing the smaller ones or what I come across. So, if I have a chance to go through a Dark Charizard, I'm going to get it. Flareon. Reverse holographic. Dark Houndoom, Dark Porygon, Neo Destiny, Snorlax, Reverse Holographic, Delta Species. I definitely wanted that one because uh -huh, it's a Snorlax card and it's a Delta Species card. So it's because Snorlax is usually a colorless card. I got a Scyther EX from the E series. These are these are you know one of the uh, sought after cards type of thing. Got a Jump Luff, Neo Revelation. And a Rocket's Trap from the gym series because, due to our big pickup, this the big pickup that you just watched, uh, the gym and the base set two and the Neo ones are the collection is going to start from now on. Okay, so uh, a couple of these I don't need actually that I picked up. I don't need. I will be selling some of those uh, by the time that you see this. I might have sold them already, but if you're interested in any of the ones that I'm selling, check out the Instagram page. Um, anything that I'm selling, I will list on Instagram first before I go on eBay. So please feel free to follow me on Instagram if you want. If you're uh, also a collector and you want to see, you know, what extra cards that I have that I might get rid of, um, let me know. I'm always open to selling in trades and maybe even buying stuff. Uh, but in any case, send off time so that I can collect more. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'm very happy. I'm very happy about this purchase. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it's, this is a nice little break from opening packs, um, but I will be back to opening packs on Monday, probably, most likely. Don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, that's a future me problem that you will see in a little bit. But in any case, I hope you all have a great weekend. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you on Monday for the next one.